In this problem, we are told that we have some tiny hydrogen bubbles that are being used as tracers to visualize the flow. That's a very common way to do flow visualization in water tunnels. And we're told that all the bubbles are generated at the origin. Uh, so x equals 0, y is equal to 0. This is going to be a two-dimensional flow field. We're told that the velocity field is unsteady and obeys the following equation. So from uh, time 0 to 2 seconds, the x component is 1 meter per second. The vertical com the y component is 1 meter per second. And then from 2 to 4 seconds, the x component is 0 and the y component is 1.5 meters per second. So we have an unsteady flow field. And we're asked to plot the path lines of the bubbles that leave the origin at different times. And then mark the locations of these five bubbles at t is equal to four seconds. Use a dashed line to indicate the position of the streak line passing through that point at t is equal to four seconds. And then what does the streamline passing through the origin look like at t equals four seconds? So we're going to take a, a, an approach here where rather than solving the differential equations for the velocity field. We could do that, but I'm not going to. I'm going to take a different approach, one that's a little more physical. And I'm just going to actually plot out what everything looks like. So let me go ahead and make some axes here. So here are our x and y axes. And let me put some uh, tick marks on here. So here's one. Actually, let me give myself a little more space. Here's one, two, and three. And then we'll do it in the vertical direction. Sorry, these are not uh, perfectly square uh, little tick marks here. OK, so we'll just go up to five there. All right, and we're going to release particles from down here at the origin. So let me release the first particle at time t equals 0. So that first from so we're going to release that first particle and we're going to track its movement. So that means we're plotting a path line. So uh, let me do that in a different color here. Let's do that in, in red. So from 0 to 1 seconds, we'll go uh, the, the x velocity is 1 meter per second and the y velocity is 1 meter per second. By the way, the, since these are in meters per second, the, the y and x coordinates will be in meters. OK, so we go, uh, so at, at t is equal to 0, we're down here. And then at t is equal to 1 second, we'll be right here. OK, so that's at 1 second. And at t is equal to 2 seconds, we'll now be up here. So what I'm doing is I'm just using this velocity to figure that out. So we're just moving over one. So every second, we're moving over one meter and up one meter. So that's how I got this point. So here's t is equal to one second. Here's t is equal to two seconds. Now, from two to three, you can see that I'm now going to just move vertically. So from two to three, I'm going to go from two up to three and a half. So there I am at t is equal to three seconds. And then from three to four, I'm still moving vertically. So I'll go up another one and a half, which will put me at five. So there I am at four seconds for that first bubble. So this, this is the bubble that I released at t is equal to zero seconds. OK, so that's, let me, let me just draw that line in as a path line. So that's the, sorry, this, the, drawing is not that great. So that's my path line. By the way, this should be a straight line. Sorry, it looks a little curved there. OK, now let me release another bubble, the one that's going to be released at um, one second. So I'll draw that one in blue. OK, so I released that one at one second from the origin. So that'll also be starting at the origin. And then from so that's being released at one second. So from one to two seconds, it's also going on a diagonal. So here it'll be at two seconds. So I'm going this way to that same point. Now from two to three seconds, I'm following this path. So it's going vertically. So that'll go up to two and a half here. So there I am at three seconds. 
And then from three to four seconds, I'm still going vertically because I'm following that. So now I'll be at uh, the Y position of four. So there I am at T is equal to four seconds. So that's the path line for the particle released at one second. So let me just put a one there. Okay, so hopefully you can see the difference in the path lines for the different, uh, for two different particles. They were just released at different times. Now let me do the next one. This next one will say, uh, this one was released at two seconds. I'll do that one in green. So that one was released at two seconds, so it's starting down here at the origin at two seconds. From two to three, I'm going to be just going vertically, right? So I'm just going vertically up a distance of one and a half. So I'll be right there. So here I am at three seconds, just going vertically. And then from three to four, I'm again going vertically. So I will go up another one and a half, which will put me at three. So that path line is just a pure vertical line. Okay, so that's that one. And then let's go ahead and do the next one, released at three seconds. Let's do that one in this kind of pinkish color. So that one's released at three seconds. Good thing I have all these different colors. So that one's going to be released from the origin, and then we're just going from three to four seconds, so we'll just be following this vertical line. So that just puts us right up here. So that's at four seconds. And then the one released at four seconds, well, that's not very interesting. That one just stays at the origin. So let's, let's color that one in uh, kind of this gray color. So that one will be released just down here, t is equal to four seconds. We're just, we're just staying at the origin. So those are our four different path lines. They're all released at different times. And so you can see they're all, they all look a little different because we're dealing with an unsteady velocity field. So those are the locations of those five. So here, at the, so that's what the path lines look like for all of those. We're also asked to mark the locations of these five bubbles at t equals four seconds. And here they are. So there it is. There's the first bubble, the second bubble, the third bubble, fourth bubble, and the fifth bubble. Now it says use a dashed line to indicate the position of the streak line passing through the origin at t equals four seconds. So we want all of the fluid particles that have passed through this origin and where are their locations now after four seconds. So you can see here's, here are all the locations. So if I'm going to sketch out what that path line looks like, let me do that one in a brown color. It's just going to go from the origin because that's where my last bubble is at four seconds. And then we'll go up to this point, because that's where this pink one is at four seconds. Our next one is going to be that one. And actually, I'm supposed to do this as a dash line, so I should do it like this. So we're going to hit that one, and then we'll go over this way, and then that way. So that's my streak line. So it goes vertically, because I'm passing, what I'm doing is connecting all those fluid particles that passed um, through the origin here at, uh, at different times, and then I'm just connecting them all at four seconds. So we start here, there, and then we're there at four seconds for that bubble. This bubble's here at four seconds, and then it, so on and so forth. So you can see the streak line looks quite a bit different than the path line, or the path lines. Hopefully that all makes sense to you. Okay, this is a nice physical problem to kind of show how the path line and streak lines are different from one another. Okay, then the very last issue that we face here is what does the streamline passing through the origin look like at t equals four seconds? So remember that the streamline is a line that's tangent to the velocity vectors. So the velocity vectors at four seconds are all just vertical. The velocity vectors everywhere are vertical. So if I was going to sketch out the streamline, let me do that one in a um, running out of colors. Let's use it kind of a, a lime green. So go the streamline going through the origin will just be vertical line. That's supposed to be purely vertical. So it's, sorry that it's a little tilted, but it's supposed to be purely vertical. And the reason it's purely vertical is because the velocity vector is purely vertical at four seconds. 
So I'm just passing through the origin, and then all the velocity vectors are, are purely vertical. So that's what that streamline looks like. So you can see in this problem, because it's unsteady, the streamline, streak line, and path lines all look different from one another. And hopefully, it makes sense from this kind of physical perspective. It's really, I think, a good problem to show you physically what's happening. When you solve a lot of these streamline, streak line, path line problems um, using the differential equation approach, it's a little harder to see physically what's going on. But this, this is a good way to visualize it. Hopefully it makes sense to you. All right, we'll go ahead and just end it there.